Hey guys, it's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Welcome if you're new. Welcome to another day within 12 days of Shanice. If you are new to the channel, 12 days of Shanice is 12 days of consistent content that started on November 1st and will be continuing all the way through November 12th in honor of my birthday <laughs> so for today's treat i do have a fragrance haul but this one is a little bit different i did give you guys a sneak peek into what my fragrance collection looks like at the beginning of this video but i do want to dive into five fragrances that i personally would repurchase if i had to start my collection all over again from the beginning this decision was super hard as you see the collection has a lot of fragrances that i love overall so to choose five, five fragrances that I would repurchase from start to finish, I had a hard time doing this, but I did narrow it down, so let's get started. One fragrance that I would purchase again and again and again is actually Very Irresistible by Givenchy. This is actually my number one favorite perfume of all time. I've actually been using it since high school, like this exact bottle, and I know I've been, out of high school for so long so it's crazy to think i have the same exact bottle but as you can see like it really doesn't have much i actually stopped using it because at first i thought they were discontinued but when i was doing my research in terms of like the notes and stuff i actually realized they still sell it on the Givenchy website i did actually purchase a new bottle from fragrance net but the one thing that i don't like is the new bottle is not as pretty as the old bottle. So the way they have it designed is a little bit different. It does still have that like swirl kind of look for the bottle, but I do like the gradient of the pink from the old bottle with the pink top as opposed to this one. So I am gonna start using this one just so I can keep this bottle. I'm hoarding this fragrance because of the bottle. It's just chef's kiss. But this fragrance smells so, so, so good. I would recommend it to every and anybody if I could. For this fragrance, it would personally, I feel like be my signature scent if I had to start all over again and purchase it to start my collection. Can you believe that this dropped in 2003? It is now 2023, so this perfume actually dropped 20 years ago, and that makes me feel super, super duper old. <laughs> Very Irresistible is actually part of the floral family. Givenchy actually describes it as French style and elegance meets American spontaneity. So you just know something about that, it just captivates you. In terms of the notes, for the top notes, it includes star anise. For the middle notes, it includes bouquet of roses. And for the base notes, it includes patchouli as well as vanilla. I personally think that anything with vanilla in the base notes, for the most part, always smells good, depending on how it's mixed. But this bottle does come in three sizes, a one ounce bottle, which is $82, a 1.7 ounces bottle, which is about $108. And the last one is a 2.5 ounce, which is this bottle, which actually costs $128. So again, if I had to do it all over again, I would still purchase this again and again to start my collection over with. But this would be the bottle that I would want. <laughs> the next fragrance that I would purchase if I had to do it all again is Born in Roma by Valentino. This fragrance actually dropped back in 2019, so it's still fairly new, but it is one of my faves in my collection. As you can see, it does have a little dent in it. If you see some of my other fragrances, they do have you know a little bit more fragrance juice in it, but with the notes, it does also have a little bit of vanilla. So like I just said, I feel like anything that has vanilla in it and it's mixed well, it smells good. This fragrance is actually a part of the floral family and some of the notes include, for the top note, sandback jasmine. For the middle note, cashmerin, which is described as a woody note. For the base note, it includes vanilla. So one thing I would say about this fragrance is it's very sweet so if you're not someone who likes sweet scents this may not be for you but it's a very sweet scent and i would also say that it lasts a very very long time you can give it a few sprays me i like to do like 10 11 12 but just me already open it without even spraying it i can smell the fragrance it's very very strong 
but it isn't overpowering where it feels like it's too much this is one where i feel like you can wear it to date night you can wear it at night i feel like it's more of like a night fragrance where you're going out you're being cute you're being sexy it's very feminine and sweet born in roma comes in uh, one two three three different bottle sizes so it has a one ounce bottle which is 85 dollars a 1.7 ounce bottle which is 130 and then has a 3.4 ounces which is actually this bottle and a hundred which is 156 dollars it smells so good <laughs> the third fragrance i would purchase if i had to start my collection all the way over again is called solar power by a brand called fleur and this fragrance is one of the newest fragrance in my collection it smells so 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 good i actually got it back in i think june or july i'm not sure which month but when i tell you this fragrance smells like sun and vacation wrapped up in a bottle it's a very citrusy scent but anytime i smell it i'm like automatically like transported to vacation and that was before i even went on vacation but i think now that i've taken this perfume on vacation it's kind of like attached that memory of it so anytime i smell it it really smells like vacation to me in terms of notes it includes a top note of italian red mandarin sun drenched bergamot and a jasmine absolute i think anything with jasmine too personally for me always smells good for the most part and then for the middle notes we have norelli um orange flower and then for the base notes we have driftwood solar musk as well as sea salt the perfume is actually part of the floral family but to me it smells more citrusy than like flowery if that makes sense so this bottle is 1.7 it only comes in one size which is the 1.7 ounces and it costs 96 dollars that is really sad that it only comes in one size but at the same time because it smells like vacation if you only want to use it on vacation it's gonna last you if you're using it all summer me personally i love to be on vacation so if i could wear this every day in the summertime and know that it's gonna transport my brain to feeling like we're on vacation y'all know i would do it so for me this would personally be like my summer scent if i had to start my collection all over or my vacation scent oh and i forgot to add fleur actually came out this year 2023 so it's a very very new fragrance okay the fourth spot is actually a very very old fragrance so this fragrance came out in 2012 let me make sure i got my my notes here yeah so it came out in 2012 and it's called glam by kim kardashian so before Kim had her foot in skims she really was doing her thing in the fragrance community and she made this back in 2012 this is also a fragrance I've been using since high school it smells so good so so good that as you can see it's basically done and I had to get a new one she doesn't do fragrances anymore so getting your hands on this can be very very difficult i did purchase this like second bottle a couple of years ago but i did check for you guys it does sell on amazon so we'll get to that in a little bit but specifically for the notes the notes do include for the top notes watermelon red berries and citruses the middle notes include tuberose star jasmine and rose and for the base notes they include musk orris root as well as sandalwood this is a floral fruity scent and it does have a touch of like powder in it it smells so good to me this is also one that i would say is a signature scent i just feel like for the fragrances that i've been wearing since high school they're just ingrained in me so it's just something about them that makes me want to wear them all the time but if I had to pick for a special occasion, this is one that I probably would also wear for like date night. Similar to the Born in Roma Valentino, I personally think it lasts a, a while. Again, they don't sell it everywhere, but I did find it for you guys when I was doing my research. They have it on Amazon. The two bottle sizes that I saw were 1.7 ounces, which was $15, and the 3.4 bottle, which is actually this one, 
is $18. So it's a good steal if you wanna start writing a list for what you wanna get your daughter, your niece, your cousin, your friend for Christmas, this is a fragrance that you can add. The prices on Amazon are very affordable. So I definitely, definitely recommend this one. And look at the bottle, guys. Like the bottle in itself is just cute. The silver with the pink. I don't know what was going back on in the day, but this reminds me of the first perfume that I touched on in the video, Very Irresistible. They had the pink and silver going on. I don't know if that's what was selling back then, but the pink and the silver really was doing it back in the day. And the last fragrance, the fifth fragrance I would purchase if I had to start my collection all over again is a newer fragrance. It's called Florental Marshmallow by Dossier. Dossier actually renamed this Floral Marshmallow on their website. So if you're going to look for it, it's actually called floral marshmallow not florental marshmallow as it does say on the bottle but this is a new fragrance it was launched back in 2021 inspired by Killian's Don't Be Shy and y'all all know Killian's Don't Be Shy is the fragrance that people love to say Rihanna smells like <laughs> so when this fragrance came out I had to cop it because I wanted to know does it smell like Killian Don't Be Shy does it smell like my girl Riri I did go in Sephora and actually smell the Killian's Don't Be Shy and if you want an inspired scent that smells basically like that bottle for a cheaper price, a more affordable price, this is one that you can get. They smell damn near the same. And on top of that, this fragrance is actually long lasting, which I was surprised about because for the price, sometimes you wouldn't think that a fragrance this affordable would be long lasting, but there are times when I wear this and I go to the office and I'm still smelling myself hours later. So if you want a fragrance that is affordable, smells good and long lasting, I would definitely suggest Floral Marshmallow. In terms of the notes, they include for the top notes, Marshmallow, Norelli and Bergamot. For the middle notes, they include Orange Blossom, Honeysuckle, Jasmine and Oris. And then for the base notes, they include Amber, vanilla and musk and what i told y'all anything with vanilla in the base for the most part always smells good so y'all can believe me this one it smells super 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 sweet so if you're not really into the sweet fragrances this may not be your type but if you love sweet gourmandy scents this is one that I would suggest. In terms of the bottle size, it only only comes in a 1.7 ounce bottle, which actually costs $39. Again, way cheaper than the retail price of Killian's Don't Be Shy. So if you just want something to try out, or maybe you just want to expand your collection and try out new fragrances, Floral Marshmallow is one I would recommend. It smells really, really sweet. To me, it smells like, um, I always forget the name, but it's like the candy that we used to have when we were little. I found it. It smells like Smarties. Like if you ever tried the candy Smarties, it's like the little pill shaped candies. This is what that smells like. But yeah, <laughs> this would be the fifth fragrance I would purchase if I had to start my collection all over again. So these were the five fragrances I would repurchase if I had to start my fragrance collection all over again from the beginning. Please let me know down below in the comment section if any of these are your favorites because I know I cannot be the only one who loves how these fragrances smell. And if I've influenced you to maybe buy one or two or three, <laughs> let me know down below in the comments. I would love to see which one was your favorite. And on that note, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below and turn on your notification bell so you can stay updated with all of the videos within 12 days of Shanice. And until next time, bye guys!